Hi Leo, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for October 2nd to the 8th. Let's start with pulling the first four cards from the Rider Waite deck. This is for Leo, please. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th. First card is you, Leo. Second card is your love interest. Third card is a situation. Fourth card is the outcome. Then I'll pull some other cards for how they feel, how you feel. Hopes and fears, challenge and obstacles, and then some oracle cards. <clears throat> All right, let's get a reading, please, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th. Okay, this is you, Leo, your love interest, situation, outcome. All right, on the bottom we have seven of pentacles waiting. Let's pull the rest of your cards. It's going to be how you feel about them, how they feel about you. Hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Challenge obstacle, challenge obstacle. And then some oracle cards later on. Can we please get the remainder of this reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th, please. Give it a good shuffle <clears throat> for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th. The oddest thing just happened. I was right about to do your reading and I heard tapping at the window and there's like three birds, three little sparrows. I don't, I don't know if they're sparrows, three little sparrows tapping at the window with their little beaks. Super cute. All right. Let's get the rest of the reading out. Cut the deck. So, this is how you feel about them, how they feel about you. All right? And your hopes and fears, their hopes and fears. Okay? And outcome, oh, sorry, challenge or obstacle is muse of emotions and challenge or obstacle here for you for your love interest is the hermit all right on the bottom of the deck we've got six of voices taking a trip or leaving a toxic situation some kind of whether it's mentally leaving a situation or or you know leaving a situation to physically leaving all right so we've got for you leo the full card is saying that there's innocence here um, you're ready to, you're ready for love. This is about fresh start, clean slate. You're ready to give someone, um, your heart, your innocent and open hearted and open to the point of almost being naive about it. Okay. Not to say that you are, but look at your energy. Look at the fool's body language. Look at the nine of materials, body language, the star, the muse emotions, this is all very light, positive, you know, open, healthy energy on your part. Now let's look at your love interest energy. Um, they are the king of cups. So this could be someone who's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is someone who is like the king of love, very emotional, um, generous, like a healer type, they could be spiritual, um, someone who's in touch with their feelings and not afraid to express emotion and love. Okay. Um, 
Now, let's see how the King of Cups energy manifests in love and romance for you. Uh, in the how you feel about them, you've got the star card. So you might feel, you know, towards them that if you wait for them to come around, wait for them to, um, you know, get their stuff sorted out, that you'll eventually, you know, manifest this relationship with this person. You're, this is a star card of you're looking up with the star card to the sky at the stars and making wishes. And this is about a wish, like you wish that you could get them, like you wish that they would be yours, that type of energy. You're almost putting them on a pedestal. Um, now, how do they feel about you? Seven of voices. Seven of swords, and you see the foxes because... It's a sneaky energy, um, and at best, it's an energy of um, trying to start over and start new. You, we saw the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That's leaving a toxic situation. Therefore, there's probably this clean start, fresh slate. But the Seven of Swords is now trying to manifest in this new place that you've gone to, trying your hand at something new, um, possibly this new chapter in your life when you're starting over. Thinking that, you know, you don't quite have everything solidly planned out yet. You're not, um, you know, stable in, ter in terms of financially or, you know, to long-term commitment-wise. So it's showing here that, you know, it's, a, it's something that needs to be put effort into and, and needs a little bit more work. And um, that you don't, they don't fully trust it, this situation. Like, they feel like possibly they can't fully trust you. Okay. For whatever reason, we'll just keep going and see, um, in the hopes, uh, in the hopes and fears, there's the, um, nine of materials. So you're hoping it looks like for independence. Okay. Nine of materials is a card of when you've done well for yourself, when um, you've got your place and you've got your funds in order and now you've got this bird of spirit here, it's a hand giving rose petals, which is supposed to represent pentacles, it's speaking to there's more. And then comes ten of pentacles, which is the commitment, marriage, kids, castle, dogs, all that long-term commitment stuff that leaves a legacy for kids in the future for the generations coming afterwards. And this is about commitment and legacy and traditions and deep roots and all that type of energy, earth energy that comes with nine and 10 of pentacles. Now, nine of pentacles at the time, it's your hope is to get your finances in order to get your life in order so that you can have that independence to, um, to manifest. Okay. That next step. It looks here like you're single, Leo, and you're hoping for this person. Um, and first, you got to get some things in order, okay? So it doesn't look like anything has manifested in terms of a relationship. It looks like this is something that it's a crush or someone that you have in mind that you are trying to manifest a relationship with. Okay, so now their hopes and fears is the Knight of Cups. This is someone who is hoping to offer love. You know, there, there's, this is not a fearful energy. Maybe they're afraid to offer love. But either way, the Knight of Cups is someone who's romantic, okay? Um, and they want to be romantic. They want to, you know, play the guitar, read poems, write, you know, love songs or sing songs or that type of energy. You know, that, that romantic kind of, that's that King of Cups energy. So this is wanting to move forward and to offer love, okay? Out, uh, the challenge or obstacle with you is the muse of emotions, which is funny. It's the king of cups. <laughs> That's your challenge or obstacle, okay? They're literally your challenge or obstacle. Why? Because they need to move forward. They need to make a move. Possibly that's one way to look at it. Or king of cups may be that, you know, you have to be fully um, open to this and be on the same wavelength as this person. Now, or perhaps there's someone, you know, romantic and spiritual type as well. Maybe you need more of that. I don't know. But in the uh, challenger obstacle for them is the hermit. 
Now, it could be a Virgo with the Hermit energy, but it's also could be that this is someone who wants to be, you know, who, who's okay being single. Because the Hermit card is someone who's single. This might be that, you know, they've been single and they might also have somebody that they've got their eye on with the hermit. Okay. This is sometimes comes when there's somebody they're interested in and they're like somebody who's okay to, you know, that, that person, you know, that guy or that girl or whatever, who's okay to be independent. They don't always have to be in a relationship. And, you know, it's more of like, it, it takes a lot more than just like passion um, and, you know, a pretty face to get them to step out and make a move. Now, in the situation, you've got the emperor. That's that boss energy, Mars energy, Aries energy. This is about leadership, taking, um, having great responsibility. So, with this situation, it looks like with the emperor, it's a very committed energy because they're looking after like they're beyond kings. Like they're they're taking care of an empire. So they have a lot of things that they have respond that they're, they're responsible for. Okay, for this situation, and it looks like also it could represent you know control. Okay, it's about power, control, leadership, and responsibility okay with the emperor that's the situation however that plays out it could be also you know a father figure or someone who is maybe a despotic leader type of person who's controlling okay that could be the situation as well um the outcome here is the page of cups now the page of cups is sweet because i like this this is uh now you got the page the knight and the king of cups so it looks like they want to offer, you know, a, this is a text message, a phone call, um, social media post, something they like, your photo, whatever, okay, a message on your, you know, I don't know, social media. This page of cups is saying they're going to reach out. It's going to be sincere. It's like an invitation to let you know how they feel, okay? Let's pull some oracle cards. I'm going to start with the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. So this page of cups hopefully is like asking you out on a date or letting you know that they're into you or they're interested. So let's see. Can we get a card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 2nd to the 8th, please? There we go. Great. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. And that's the hermit energy too. Okay. So their challenge or obstacle is that Okay, so their challenge or obstacle is maybe that you are not available right now because you still have to get your stuff together. And it could be that you're not available right now. You're the star implies like this like waiting, wishing, something that's not gonna immediately possibly happen, something that over time, if you stay the course, you'll you know manifest. So since you're starting over again, it could be that the challenge obstacle here is that you you're in hermit mode. Okay, not, not just them. It could be about you being in hermit mode. All right, so retreat. Time to, I'll read that to you. On the bottom, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So let me read that card. Retreat. The romance angels see that your love life blossoms as you spend time alone with your partner, okay, or by yourself. It appears that you've become confused or conflicted by other people's advice. It's time for you to disconnect so that you can better hear your own feelings and opinions. If you are in a partnership, spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level. This could mean taking a vacation, which we know is not very possible. Hold on a second. Sorry, I just got an Amazon delivery, so I had to wash my hands all over again. All right. Where was I? Retreat. Okay, so going on a nature hike, enjoying a long drive, or turning off the phones and computer as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home. The painting on this card also indicates a honeymoon, which could be the literal message. 
So there may be a deepening of commitment or a new serious relationship if you're currently single. This card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding, or renewal of vows. These activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner. If you're presently single, this card guides you to spend time by yourself, meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy, which helps you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. So it's not the time right now for action. It's saying it's time right now for you to uh, retreat and get your stuff together, okay? Which is the situation here with the emperor also. This is that boss energy and having leadership and power, authority, control, all those things that, you know, that Mars energy that needs to be manifested. Okay, so let me pull a Journey of Love Oracle card by Elena Fairchild, Rasuli, and Cohn. Let's see what... Wow, that was so fast. One. It was just the top of the cards. Those three, the choice, simplicity, knowing without knowing, but I didn't even shuffle. All right. So this is for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for August 2nd to the 8th, please. What does Leo need to know for August 2nd to the 8th and love and romance, please. For Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for August 2nd to the 8th. Okay, there's two cards. Shifting universes and eruption of light. So let me read these to you. And on the bottom there's lovers. Okay. Shifting universes number seven. It's got a poem with every card. It says, the dream. The taste and touch of you within. Thoughts linger on a sweet caress. You come to me, no sounds distract. The night's embrace of innocence. The artist's brush across my lips, the palette rich in colors deep, to flow with feelings now renewed and blend as one in breath and hue. Entwined our bodies bathe in love and weep with longings, slow release. Emotion, song, and soft refrain awaken dreams that never cease. Okay, all right. So then let me read the meaning for that. Okay. It says this Oracle has a message for you. If you are thinking of changing location, jobs, houses, or attitudes, trying something new, especially if it is unusual for you, then the universe is supporting you. Now is the time to expect, accept what you didn't expect. Beautiful. All right. So let's read the other one. Eruption of light. Number 11. And it's a very short poem for this one. It says, life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. What does that mean? It says, this oracle holds a message for you. Your words have more power than you may realize. And you have a special ability to heal with words, to bring light where it is needed, and to uplift through simple kindness spoken. You also have a message to bring. It might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level to share from the heart with others when you are engaged in conversations. The Oracle says your voice is part of your power. Do use it. All right. Now, the final Oracle card I want to pull. It's not exactly a love Oracle card, but I love this deck. It's called Believe in Your Own Magic by Amanda Lovelace. So let's get one last Oracle card for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. For October 2nd to the 8th. Lioness, Leo. Lioness. You've earned all your stripes. If that's not the perfect card for Leo. 
on the bottom we have throne your potential is endless okay so when this card comes up it's saying you know you already are a huge threat with how capable you are it's saying that you have no glass ceilings that you can literally do anything you set your mind to and if anyone is trying to set you know tell you otherwise it's because they're already majorly threatened by how far or how dangerous you already are and so they're you know trying to hold you back out of fear of what you might manifest 13 it says lioness. Let me hold it up to you so you can see. You've earned all your stripes. Naturally, sometimes with growth comes a little scarring. You've come incredibly far. And you should be proud of the person you've become. Think of your scars not as a reminder of the pain you've had to endure in the past, but as proof that you can survive anything. All right. So, Leo, it looks like there's not a lot happening it's more of you know maybe a crush okay someone you're interested in but also you know i know it's it's a love reading but it could be that you're focused on your coins okay because the emperor can speak to boss energy you know having your own business being a boss in that way and in your hopes and fears nine of pentacles you know not just you know, it could be wanting to go out there and date again and stuff like that and be independent before you lock it down with 10 of pentacles, which comes next, which is marriage and all that stuff. So I hope that made sense to you. That was your reading for October 2nd to the 8th. And I will have your generals out shortly after this. And then please uh, check back also for your next week's love readings. Thank you for watching and bye for now.